In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add Mac devices to your JumpCloud directory by installing the JumpCloud agent. Note this requires access to the device. If you're in a remote environment without access to the device, check out the tutorial about remote agent installation. To get started, log into the Mac device as a local administrator. From your JumpCloud admin account, navigate to the menu on the left. By clicking Device Management, then Devices, you'll see the devices that have already been added to your directory. To add a new Mac device, simply click on the plus sign in the top left. In the pane that appears on the right, select Mac as your device type. Here you can see both the Download Mac Agent and Connect Key items. Click the Download button to download JumpCloud's Mac Agent on your local device. Below that, you'll see the Connect Key. This is a unique key that is required during installation. After downloading the Mac Agent, navigate to the folder that contains the install, run the JumpCloud Agent install, and once the Agent installation window appears, continue through until it asks for your administrator password. Continue through until you get to the Connect Key input screen. Copy your Connect Key from your JumpCloud organization into the Connect Key field and hit Next. The following menu will ask for your secure token admin password. This is required to manage FileVault enabled Macs or to enforce FileVault policies from JumpCloud to Mac devices. The JumpCloud agent install will create a unique service account with secure token privileges. To learn more about secure tokens in the JumpCloud service account, check out our knowledge base. Now type in your local administrator password and continue through the installation. Once the JumpCloud agent's installation has completed, it can take up to two minutes for the device to propagate in your admin console. We can now see that the device has been successfully added. By clicking on the device, we can pull up various attributes and information. The next step is to take over the pre-existing local account for the user by binding his JumpCloud user account to his associated device, which we just added in JumpCloud. Please note, Account takeover will only occur if the username of the local account exactly matches the JumpCloud username. If there is not an exact match, JumpCloud will create a new local profile using the JumpCloud username. Alternatively, if you'd like the JumpCloud username and the existing local account username to be different, you can retain both by using the local user account field in JumpCloud. But again, the local user account field must match exactly the local account on the device to ensure successful account takeover. To bind this user's JumpCloud account to his JumpCloud device, click on the device, click on the Users tab, and select the user you'd like to bind. You can also promote or demote a user's privileges during this process as an administrator or a standard local user with no admin rights. When finished, click Save. Now on the Mac device, we can see the user has not logged out and has not been forced out of his current session. In order for JumpCloud to fully take over the account, the user must perform a full logout and login cycle. When at the login screen in Mac, the user may be asked to type in their previous password as well as their JumpCloud password to sync the keychain in Mac OS. The user will then be fully taken over by JumpCloud with their JumpCloud password attributed to their local Mac account. Additionally, users will see a JumpCloud app in the Systems menu bar. The JumpCloud app allows users to update their password for their JumpCloud account and connected resources, including the JumpCloud user portal. Check out any other tu tutorial videos and articles to learn more about managing Mac devices.